everybody, and welcome to day 21 of the Brewbent Beer Advent Calendar Reviews. And uh, as Kelly just mentioned, happy solstice, the longest night of the year that you'll be spending listening to us talk about black chocolate stout. What a perfect dark choice for the longest. It really is. I rather like night. that they chose this for the 21st. And sure winter. it was absolutely their plan. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh Ooh. yeah. That's like motor oil. All right. So this is a Brooklyn Brewery black chocolate stout. Here, why don't you try that first? You smell the chocolate. Sure can. Big question. Do you like it? I do. Prove it. <laughs> All right, if I must. The chocolate is very prevalent. Yes. Very back of throat. Um, like letting a bite of dark chocolate bar kind of dissolve in your mouth. Um, you get that similar experience from taking a sip of this stout. This is also a very strong stout. Mm -hmm. This is an imperial stout. Uh, so it's a 10% ABV. Got a chocolatey mouthfeel very similar to a hot chocolate. It's It's got that kind of coats the mouth, mm -hmm. not in an obnoxious way. Most of the flavor in it is that chocolate hit. It doesn't taste like it's got 10% alcohol, so it's not a super heady brew. Um, I think the chocolate kind of disguises the alcohol a little bit. Uh, when I was a kid, my dad always said, if you can't taste the alcohol, stop drinking. <laughs> I can read about the alcohol, okay, Dad? You trust me now? Okay. We're going to salute dads tonight. All right. Yay, what good dad. good advice did, did your dad give you? You know what? I'm actually going to talk a little bit about how my dad encouraged me in cooking. I came from parents who both liked to cook, but my dad was really the one who encouraged me to just kind of dive in and experiment and try things and be okay if they failed. So I think that's why I've always been comfortable cooking from a very young age and happy to take it over. And, and it's a great source of joy for me and I think still kind of connects me with my dad. And I have accrued a lot of enjoyment out of her cooking. So mm -hmm. thanks, Dad. Uh, and Dad, thank you for warning me about the perils of drinking sugary crap. Mm -hmm. um, but this is not sugary crap. This no. is a terrific beer. How many reindeer would you give? It's another seven for me. This is excellent. Nothing wrong with that. Here's the thing. We got this case of beer from the craft beer cellar. And we had one or two that was like, oh, what are you thinking? Mm -hmm. Most of them are really good. And when we looked up these beers um, after the reviews, some of them are very expensive single bottle beers. Like some of them are $10 a bottle. Oh, and my gosh. we got, the, I don't know what you paid for the case. Not gonna but tell you. Certainly not $240. So um, it's really good value. If you head down to the craft beer cellar next year to get this case of beer, you're gonna get some really great choices. Also, if you like anything that we have, you know, we're interested in anything that we've reviewed so far, Give them a call, see if they still have it on hand. They can put mm -hmm. together a six pack for you of something that you might want to sample. So, we both agree, seven reindeer. We've only got a couple more days of this. Oh my gosh. I hope your holidays are wonderful, that you're ready for this uh, snow on Christmas. That's what they're saying. Travel safely, and until we drink again. Cheers.